In this video, I will be calculating the odds in American roulette, uh, looking at placing $1 bets and then getting payouts that are much more. I show in this picture, uh, you can see an American roulette board. Notice there's a zero and a double zero. Uh, that's the difference between American roulette and European roulette. And I show you uh, three different bets down here. So you could bet, let's say you wanted to place a bet on the number zero. If you place a bet for one dollar, that's what I'm showing right here, you will get thirty-five dollars in a payout. So if you place a one dollar bet and it, it comes up zero, uh, the dealer will give you thirty-five dollars. So we're going to calculate the odds uh, of that scenario. So if we look at in this table, I'm going to start writing uh, down the information. Let's say we're going to place a bet for the number zero. Money one probability. So of everything that's on the board, if you take a look, there's zero, there's one through three, um, four through six, seven through nine, and it goes all the way up to 36. So there are 36 different numbers, but then there's also the zero and the double zero. So altogether, we have 38 different numbers. Of that, um, and I'm going to write it off to the side as, as a fraction, we have a 1 in 38 chance of getting the number 0. That's not what I'm going to put in the table, however. Although we have a 1 in 38 chance, remember, we're going to get a payout of $35. So what's the probability that we're going to win money Every 38 times we play, we're going to get the number 0 on average one time, which means every 38 times we play, we're going to win $35. So every 38 times, we have a win probability of getting $35 per 38 plays. And that corresponds to that one time out of 38 that we're going to get a zero. Now, what's our loss probability? We're going to get a number that's not a zero then. So I'll, I'll write zero. And anything that's not a zero, we're going to be getting 37 out of 38 times. And each of those 37 times that we lose, we're only going to be losing $1. So that means every 38 plays, we're going to lose a dollar 37 out of 38 times. So now we can take this to calculate our overall probability. We're going to win 30, in 38 plays, we're going to win $35. We're going to lose $37. So that means our overall probability is we're going to lose $2 per 38 plays. And it's very important that you write per 38 plays um, because you're not just going to lose $2. If you, if you bet thousands of dollars, you would lose much more than $2. You're going to lose $2 for every $38 or uh, $2 for every 38 plays um, if you bet a dollar. So the expected value now is getting this as a, as a unit rate per dollar. So you can think of it, if, if I'm expressing it as a fraction, we have 2 out of 38. Let's get this to decimals, or per dollar, to get it to 1. So we're going to divide each side by 38. And to do that, you just go to divide it by 38, and you may use a calculator. And you're going to lose about 0.052. You're going to lose about a nickel. So per dollar... I'm going to put that negative sign because we're going to lose about five cents for every dollar you spend, which means the house has an advantage. And the house advantage is expressed as a percent. How much money is the house going to earn per $100 that their customers spend? Well, if the customer is losing five cents, um, we're just going to get that as a percentage. So that's per 100 so we would say the house advantage is 5.2%. So for every $100 spent, the house is going to earn 
five dollars. So if that's how you can calculate all of these terms. I'm going to do just one more. Now I'm showing the odds for black and red. Of course, black and red both have the same odds. So if you bet a dollar on black, it's going to be a payout of a dollar. Same thing for red. So let's talk about putting in a bet for, let's say, uh, black. Or we can say red just because it comes first in the list. So if you put a bet on red, we have a chance, if you see all of these numbers, we have 38 numbers. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of them are red. So we would say the odds are that it's going to come up red would be 18 out of, remember, it's not 36, it's 38. Um, so if we, and if we're only betting a dollar and we're winning a dollar, that means we're going to win $18 for every 38 plays. or $18 uh, for every $38 bet. And the reason I don't need to change this 18 is because I'm gonna win 18 times, but I'm only gonna win a dollar 18 times, which means I'm going to lose a dollar then 20 out of 38 times. I'm gonna lose $20 for every 38 I spend. Notice the overall probability is the same which means the expected value will be the same, and the house advantage will also be the same. Um, even though these are very different bets and have very different odds, the overall probabilities wind up the same. So the house advantage is still going to make $5 per every 100 spent. And the expected value is you're going to lose $0.05 cents for every dollar you spend. So you're going to do the calculations now for European roulette, um, which only has one zero. So as you could guess, you're going to have slightly better odds.